Hello, I'm Bev Perdue. I'm the governor of North Carolina. We are coming through a recovery from this recession just as you are in other states. And North Carolina, as your state likely has, has been an equal opportunity recession. Lots of professionals in our state have been displaced. This is unusual in recessionary times. And so we put together a really innovative private public, public partnership that's collaborative to help our professionals have an opportunity to go to one center to use technology to rekindle and refigure out how to jumpstart their life. So this may help you where you are. Sit back and watch the video and learn from North Carolina. Charlotte is a city in crisis. Like many other U.S. cities, the economic downturn has left many highly qualified professionals out of work. The loss of jobs in the nation's second largest financial district has resulted in a broad cross-section of people challenged with finding employment. Even tougher, unemployment in Charlotte, our nation's 19th largest city, has skyrocketed this past year from 7.5 to 11 percent. You know, we know that we've got to grow jobs in this community, particularly for our financial services and displaced workers. And we want to pull together 100 employers uh, to talk about the gaps between now and what will help them grow jobs in the future. And that's what the Job Summit's about. This job center is one of the best things that's happened in our city in quite some time. Uh, it is an opportunity for the community to pull together, uh, for resources to be centralized, and for workers, particularly professional services workers, to have an opportunity to retool, re-engage, and get back out there. This year and the past year, it's really a lot more professional displaced worker versus the traditional disadvantaged displaced worker. Uh, most of our workforce board has been geared in the past to really handle the displaced worker through WIA funding, things of that nature, really uh, skills training focused. And, and this time we're seeing a lot more professional folks who have not been displaced. And we've been trying to find creative ways to address those folks' specific needs. The challenge to our existing workforce development site is determining how to provide meaningful support to displaced workers, people that are highly educated and skilled and motivated when the jobs just don't exist. Can you share why a Fortune 500 company would be involved in a endeavor like this? Well, for, first of all, in a place like Charlotte and in a company like Bank of America, we've always believed in a public-private partnership. Uh, and we've had also great partners who also work with us like Microsoft and, and HP and EDS who have helped supply, uh, or MetLife who have helped supply either the counselors or the, the software. So it's, and then the, the Workforce Development Council, uh, the governor's been interested in this, the, the mayor. So I think everybody's trying to, to find new ways to connect talent uh, in, an, in, an, in a diverse economy. Uh, in a great place, uh, everybody benefits. Well, it's just that so many people in our community who never expected to be unemployed are facing some very difficult challenges right now. Folks really want to get back into work. Uh, a lot of people are thinking about whether to start their own businesses or whether to go back into the workforce, so to speak. And I think that's one of the great things about this Resource Center is that it, it provides a clearinghouse for the employment opportunities and it also allows folks to really consider their options going forward. The need is to teach professionals to use new techniques such as social media and good old-fashioned networking to uncover the hidden job market. Our instructors show participants how to transfer their skills to other industries and ways to powerfully communicate this to potential employers. How has it helped you in your current job search? Um, actually, it's given me uh, a great place for support. Um, I've been able to network with professionals to get advice about the job search and then retool myself uh, for the new job market. In the first 90 days of the center's operation, over 300 professionals from Mecklenburg and surrounding counties have taken workshops on a variety of topics from how to use LinkedIn to resume writing, interview techniques, and even learning to innovate. Over 95% of our attendees rate our services as excellent or good. Tell me how the Career Center has helped you in your job search process. The Career Center helped me prepare and focus. I reworked my resume and also improved my job search skills. Helping our participants acquire skills and confidence to find long-term employment is the ultimate success. I spent time with uh, volunteer uh, instructors here at the center and they helped me 
put together the best uh, skills I needed for interviewing and for other networking activities. The center has also brought potential employers looking to recruit top local talent to the table. This is a win-win situation, saving the recruiters time and money by eliminating the all-consuming and expensive process of staging job fairs or placing ads that solicit thousands of inquiries. One of the big differences that this project brings is people have websites, so you can connect resumes and numbers. This puts a, a face to it. So it's a center, it's a professional environment where uh, it's not just looking at a resume on the internet. That's an important part of how people connect in, in the employment world today, but it gives the human resources professionals a way to connect with the people who are looking for work and the people who are looking for work a way to put a face on the opportunities that may be there. So it's a much more personal way to go about uh, connecting employers and employees. Our goal in opening the Resource Center was to provide a world-class destination for our clients. We knew we needed to be situated in a vibrant, active environment, and that meant Uptown Charlotte. It's critical that our job centers be located in a place that's convenient and accessible to our workers. And in the case of this job center, it's a wonderful collaboration. Bank of America's donated space. It is in the central city. It is where people are used to going to work. And it's a place where folks can come and uh, learn the skills that are going to get them into the next job. As recovery takes hold, long-term demographic trends show that skill shortages will continue in several vital areas of the economy. Now more than ever, the role of a local workforce development board is critically important to ensuring a community's long-term economic vitality. I really see this with, with a future once, even after we have uh, an economic recovery, I think it, it stimulates a new idea, a new way of thinking about how we connect employers with employees and talent. We use the internet, we're using a, an, an environment where, where people who are displaced from their jobs or looking for new opportunities, um, this, this will have legs. It'll, it will have a lifetime, I think, beyond what I'll call the current crisis, because we're learning new things about how to find talent, and I think people who are looking for new opportunities are, are looking for new ways to connect with potential employers as well. So I see this as something that will, will outlive even the current crisis, but I'll leave that to some of the experts around this company who, who do that, but uh, it's exceeded the expectations that we started out with. And I, I think it'll be uh, a new way of thinking. But opening the center was only part of our strategy. The center needed to be supported by local networking groups, a communication strategy, an interactive website, and even new and creative training opportunities. And the center's been open about 90 days now. What have you learned since its inception? Uh, one thing I really learned is how different the needs are at the professional worker are than the typical disadvantaged displaced worker. These folks, uh, they, they, tip, they typically have skills, they have work experience, higher education for the most part, and what they really need is a place to come and meet and network and build that confidence up. They don't need the traditional uh, skills training. They might need help training, getting a job, a resume review, but it's basically connecting with their peers to find out where the jobs are on the market and kind of create a, uh, a structure for themselves to keep that confidence and hopefully get them in a job sooner. What's next? Continued success will require even closer working relationships with local employers, development of new programming delivery channels, and continued community outreach to ensure everyone knows what resources are available. I am a walking, talking testimonial of how well the Career Center works for a person searching for a job. The Professional Career Center. Everything workers in transition need to get back to work.